This video shows how I tested and serviced the inlet and exhaust Vanos pinions. I tested the inlet pinion and found that there was about 7 thou of axial play and about 40 thou of radial play in the old bearing. Put the square part of the base and tool in a sturdily mounted vise. Put the pinion in the vise. If you are working on the inlet pinion, you must remove the oil seal on the shaft, otherwise the tool won't fit. Make sure the base and tool is securely engaged in the two holes in the pinion locking ring. Using an impact wrench on the lowest setting, break the seal on the thread locking ring. The locking ring will come out with a shim. The shim is held in place by a film of oil. You should see a bearing inside the pinion. Carefully remove the shim from the locking ring by using a pick to break the oil film. Pull out the shaft and the upper bearing. Firm taps on some soft material should break the oil film that is holding the bearing and the shim ring in the pinion. The other shim may need to be removed with a pick. Fully clean and degrease everything with brake cleaner. Thoroughly clean the threads on the pinion and the locking ring of all old thread lock. I used a pick to do this. Using engine oil and a cotton bud, lubricate all the parts as you assemble them. The pinion, the shim ring, one of the shims, one of the bearings, the shaft and the other bearing. Do not put the last shim in. The last shim goes inside the locking ring. It will be held in place by the coating of oil. Screw the locking ring into the pinion. There should be no torque required to screw the ring all the way down. Torque the locking ring to 55 Newton meters. We now need to check the pinion. The face of the locking ring should be in line or below the pinion. The bearing shouldn't feel restricted and should run freely. Check for radial play, which shouldn't be excessive, and axial play, which should be negligible. Mark the pinion and locking ring prior to disassembly. Undo the locking ring. Clean the threads. Apply locking agent to the locking ring. Screw the locking ring back on but this time we are aiming for the marks. That would complete an exhaust pinion, but the inlet pinion needs a new oil seal. After final assembly, we would recheck the pinion as before. The inlet pinion was retested for radial play and it had been improved to 15 thou. There was so little axial play that I couldn't even measure it.